Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to transform any Android, Samsung or iPhone um, into a wireless charger. For this thing we are going to need a couple of parts, which I'm going to list it in the video description below. And let's do some tests. First thing first, we're going to need an app called Ampere. You can download this from Google uh, Play and so on, it's this symbol here, Ampere. We're gonna tap into it, just so, and we're gonna. Uh, this uh, application can show us, you know, the current uh, drawing from the device when it's not charging, and the current current going in when the device is uh, is charging. That that's a very useful device. You can uh, check your charger if it's a genuine one, if it is overvolting your battery, uh, how many milliamps is putting in a device, and so on. Now for this experiment, we're gonna connect the uh, Samsung original charger just like so and the app is gonna switch from drawing to measuring it's a little more battery, temperature, voltage and so on it's a very neat application you can see now it's 300 milliamps but it's gonna rise up because it's stabilizing normally a good charger like this one I tested before it's around 500, 550 milliamps and so on <clears throat> because my battery is 2000 milliamps so it's like 3 hour charging and so on so you can see now it stabilizes around 500 milliamps alright now for transform this normally corded charger into a wireless we're gonna need a couple of things first thing is this wireless charger this is the transmitter this is a fantasy wireless charger i chose this one in particular because it's uh, very nice looking very neat transparent and it's got some anti-slippery uh, margin here and the rest is uh, and some leds inside it flashes and it's right it's good for this channel and it's good for me so i highly recommend this one all right so first thing first we're gonna plug in straightforward we're gonna see a small LED in the middle and we're gonna put our phone to charge whoops come on buddy Oi. wake up <laughs> I'm just messing friends as you can see you know not all the phones or majority of the phones doesn't have the built-in receiver for this to transform this phone we're gonna need a neat gadget like this one wireless charger I chose this one because it was cheap and kinda nice looking input 5 volts output 800 to 1000 milliamps <clears throat> you have to be very careful when you choose this kind of stuff because this one this model just uh, is good for the phone that are having this kind of charger in with a round part up we can put it here and just like so yeah you have two, two options of this one you can put it in the uh, chassis of the phone right here but it's kind of tight for this application I chose this rubber cover which we're gonna put the receiver we're gonna plug and we're gonna attach the cover Alright friends, so we are back, we did mount the, the device inside this, uh, this case We're gonna start some measurements, we're gonna plug in to this original charger See there is an LED flashing here We're gonna go to the Ampere app Measuring, now it's discharging because it's not on charge, of course Come on friend Hurry up all right, and we're gonna place it to the charge. Up, there's the sound. Boop, boop. Now it's charging. Let's put it right. Let's put it on charge. And we're gonna see how high is gonna go the this charger with his original thing. You saw previously one with plug-in the charger is like around 
hundred milliamps. Probably is not perfectly centralized. So three three. One let's pause it for a while and see if we're gonna get the same thing. All right, folks. So, best connection with the case is 323 180 milliamps. We're gonna proceed now to put it in the back of the phone and do the test again. We're going to proceed by opening this phone and mounting the stuff right here. We're going to plug it in like so, twist it aside and we're going to put the cover back. So you managed to put the, the receiver normally in the back and let's place it on the charger go straight away as you can see here friends 450 milliamps going into the the device yeah so is almost the same as uh, would be plugged into the to the mains all right so let's uh, change by other thing like a power supply we did manage to bring in the homemade power supply I, as you can see in the previous videos and let's see if it's gonna be able to reach oh it's reaching so 500 million folks 500 milliamps from this homemade power bank so what we did make is quite up to charge you see 560 even is working better than the <coughs> the original charger see real time fast real time folks so let's change this power bank with a commercial one like this one all right friends we did plug in the, the other power bank let's see how it's doing till now our homemade power bank is doing the best best even from the uh, original charger see 400 480 From all the devices that we tested, apparently the best way to use the wireless charger is a power bank, but uh, the best was this homemade one that uh, doesn't look pretty, but is doing the trick uh, very good according to this uh, app. We're going to test it with the multimeter as well, but in the future on. So let's go back to the main charger. Let's put this one aside. Let's try it one more time with, with the mains, you know, I didn't have no problem with this charger, not so ever. It did charge very well for fucking two years now, but apparently now doing something. Let's see, it's measuring, it's not staying quite good because it's by the looks it's kind of damaged. But let's see, 250, 370, confirmed, 420, aha, uh -huh, so the plug is kind of fucked, but we're gonna repair it soon. <clears throat> Still, it's not reaching the 550 mark, not yet, by the way, so it's 460. You see what I mean? You know, these charges are very good because you end up, you know, um, providing your charging plug you know you're going to conserve it because they are very thin and easily destructible so that's why a, a wireless charger is good in this situation the bad thing is you cannot use it while is uh, uh, on charge because you can see but you can try various things but it's very useful in car as well in campings in when you're driving you know you can put it the phone there and that's it it's very good because it's in conjunction with these power banks you know very reliable <coughs> and the best performing was this 
homemade power bank that this one I rated at 6000 milliamps so uh, it's alright we did a good job with it we tested the app we tested the wireless device so I honestly recommend this one it's good looking as you saw in comparing to the mains you know it's doing quite well so it's no less even it's, it's doing better on uh, power banks and stuff so I highly recommend this one if you buy it similar or test it let me know what you think put a comment below thumbs up subscribe and see you on the next time rechargeable wireless Ooh, yeah baby